Bang needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is not with us today, and we are checking out the Damn Designs race. I'm interrupting this review right now to thank our good friend Abby for sending these knives to us, including this one. Um, didn't have to do that, and he did in order to give us some content, and that's amazing. We really appreciate that. And not only did he send us some knives, he also paid for it everything he's paying for the shipping and that's that's incredible we can't thank him enough that helps us out so much um just all the shipping and handling so thank you abby we love you brother this is a really cool knife it is uh seven and three quarters with a three and a half inch blade here is some size comparisons this is the bench made bug out and the Benchmade 940. It is slightly smaller than the 940 and slightly, eh, it's pretty much the same size as the, the bug out. The, the little tiny bit isn't going to be much difference. It's seven and three quarters, three and a half inch blade. This is M390 blade steel and it has very smooth action. Now there is a lot of great things about this knife, but there is a couple bad things about it. So let's get to it. Now the action on this thing, I like the flipper tab. I love the jimping on it. It's perfectly canted. Your finger and the, the position between your finger and the flipper tab is really nice. And this is made by Tuya Knives, which I love Tuya Knives. And that's one thing that Tuya Knives does very good. The finger to flipper tab positioning, like how they execute where your finger lands and the deployment, they do that so good. I love the way Tuya does that. Tuya is a really cool company. I really like them. Dave Warren is the person who takes care of all their USA um, stuff. Him and his wife, they're both awesome. I've never had any problems with them. And if you ever have any problems with your knives, get a hold of him and he will take care of it. Best kind of service you can ask for in a knife company. Now this, to me, the blade shape, I don't know what they call it meaning damn designs, but I would call this a modified sheep's foot. Yeah, modified sheep's foot. It's very, very thin. I love how thin this blade stock is. I think it's an eighth inch thin. And I mean, that makes it to where they can get down to a really slicey edge. I measured it at about 15 thousandths behind the edge. Now I might've been off just a tiny bit on that because my calipers are a little goofy right now, but I don't think so. I think I'm pretty accurate with that. It does have a nice acute tip. The, the, um, the one thing though is that as you sharpen it, it is a flat ground blade, so it will get thicker as you sharpen it. Um, not dramatically fast, but you see how fast it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker as you sharpen it. Now, going back to the action, it does have stupid smooth action. I mean, it is super smooth, and it's because of these multi-row ceramic ball bearings that is very very cool and then the access to the lock bar amazing i love that i love it when a company can do those two things right the position of the flipper tab or thumb studs whichever it's going to be and then the 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 disengaging the lock bar so basically the cutout to the lock bar leaving you enough room to get to the liner or frame whatever it is i love when a company does that and they did it very well the detent it's past the detent by the time it hits your thumb if you use this little cutout bang it's right there it does it can land right there on it if you don't let it get past because it's super close like here right there it's past it Okay, and right there it's hitting it. So right there it's past it, right there it's hitting it. So it's really close, but I never really have a problem with it because I always just hold it down a little bit lower at the bottom of the hole and I'm past it. So if I hold it way up here like this, yeah, it's not going to be past it. But right there, nice and past it. And then when you drop it, it is super smooth. I mean, you barely have to give this thing any shake. Look at how tightly fitted this thing is in there. I love how tightly fitted it is. Such a thin blade stock, and it's just wedged in there so tight. The fit and finish of this is really good for the most part. 
Um, the Ergos on this thing are really, really good. Um, oh yeah, they make multiple different configurations of this. If you look at this, here is the titanium frame locks and the other carbon fiber one. And then what is that, a G10 one? I'm not sure. There's multiple different uh, variations of this. So this one's the red carbon fiber, shredded carbon fiber. The clip works very, very good. I do like the way it goes in and out of the pocket. This is a wonderfully done clip. They give you plenty of room, very minimal hardware. It's all T8 and this is titanium hardware. So very awesome. Hey guys, I like to add these in every once in a while if I can. If you cannot afford this knife, but you do like the overall appearance and stuff like that, the Civivi Brigand is a knife that might pique your interest. I am going to be doing the review on this very soon, but they, they're very similar and the action is very good on the Brigand and it also has a very slicey blade, pretty similar it's got a very thin blade stock, and it's made by Civivi, so you know it's uh, going to have good blade geometry. But back to the review. Okay, so the the difference between the blade length and the length of the handle, it is a little bit shorter than it, so they could have maybe made this blade a little bit longer. But I'm not complaining about that. Three and a half inch blade is a great blade length, and they gave you good ergos having the blade or the handle as long as they did. Now, one of the major flaws of this thing is well, there's twofold. I thought there was going to be three, but there's two. The third one that I thought that I wound up working out was this thing had detent lash when I got it. Literally, like when I shook it, I could hear it. It went rattle, rattle, it just rattled all in there. And I was really disappointed. Like, I was thinking, like, man, Tuya, what is going on? But I flipped it a, few, a bunch of times, and it still had it. Still had it, and I got annoyed, and I said, you know what? I got to stop flipping this thing. I can't keep flipping this thing if this thing is going to have detent lash, and then I made it worse. Then I sent it back to the owner, and then the owner's like, hey, man, this thing didn't have detent lash like this when I sent it to you. So I, I checked it out. And what happened was, was the detent hole had a little bit of, I don't know, lint or something in there. And now it's, it's fine. No detent lash. It's perfectly good. There's no detent play. Stupid smooth. Love it. So that got worked out. The thing, or the two problems that I have with this knife is, is one, they missed the plunge grind. So I haven't sharpened this thing, but... If I did sharpen it, this is what will happen. Because Tuya's kind of known for this right now. If you look at this, I have sharpened this. You see how this kind of pushes out a little bit right there? It's because they missed the plunge grind. Right here, they missed the plunge grind again. And if you, you see that shadowy, like where they ground it right there, it goes up to about right there. If they would have just cut this little notch out up to here, they would have missed this thicker area because you see how it gets thicker down here and you can see that by the edge you see how it gets thinner 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 and then it gets a little bit thicker down here at the very tip that's because they missed the plunge grind so now if i sharpen it it's just going to get more pronounced if it was mine i would cut this out i would just cut this out a little bit farther and just be done with it that way i could just continue to keep sharpening it and not ever have to worry about it now you're probably saying that well you didn't do that with this knife no i didn't but there's only a hundred of these so i'm not going to do that to that knife and i have the other one that they made and i'm still probably not going to do it to that one so i mean it's a it's a preference thing and how much you're going to use the knife and how much you're going to sharpen it eventually i might have to do that you know, if I keep on sharpening it. Now, the next big bad thing to me is, is even though it has great ergos and the placement of the thumb on top of this jimping feels amazing as just, just holding it. When you squeeze it, on the other hand, this bad boy is sharp. They did not chamfer any of, let me get it in here. All this right here on the inside, not the outside. The outside's fine. It's nice and chan chamfered on the outside. But the inside of the scales is sharp. And if I have to push this through any cardboard, it 
I mean, just here, I'm gonna give it a good squeeze. Watch my hands. Oh, look at all that. I mean, you can just see it's just, it's tore up. And that was for, from what? Three seconds. Now I did use this thing and I used it very lightly because it's not my knife. So I only put it through materials that would not hurt the blade. And even in that time, like doing, I did a couple push cuts and I felt big time. And especially because when I do push cuts, I go up here like this. I creep my hand up like this. I don't know why, it's just the way I do it. And in that position, it's really bad, like really, really bad. But even when I hold back here, if I'm just doing light, do so, you know I'm gonna kick the camera, guys. You guys already know that. If I hold back right here, it's not that big of a deal, especially because I normally hold my knives like this and cut. But as soon as I go to do a push cut and I turn it like this, man, I feel it really big time especially if I give it a squeeze. Now, if I'm just holding it naturally like this, it's fine. And now I don't know how the frame lock version is because the titanium ones, these are frame locks up here. So I do not know how they did theirs. I should have allowed um, a friend of mine that could have sent me a frame lock version to send it to me because then I could have compared the two. But I'm an idiot and I didn't. So those are the complaints I have. Other than that, everything is great on this thing. I mean, the action the is stupid smooth. The fit placement, the fit and finishing, aside from the finishing work on the insides of these is great. Um, and also the the sharpening notch besides those things everything else is great i love the blade geometry i love how thin it is i love the clip i do like the ergos aside from the sharpness i think this thing is nice and smooth and just looks gorgeous man i mean this thing looks beautiful and also look at this satin finish isn't that just a beautiful satin finish i mean it just looks good very very smooth love how smooth this thing is but, yep, there's the review, guys. Love you guys, and peace.